Welcome to this week's Shannon's Lifestyle, and this week we are honorably joined by the famous Ronald Gabriel, a Romanian pro boxer who is residing here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and he's been trained all year round, so it's really hard for Ronald to actually take some time off from his busy schedule to join us today. Thank you so much for being here, Ronald. I'm happy to, to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, so I know we all know that last month you actually had a really exciting fight with David. So what, can you share a little bit about that yeah, it's with not, us? It's not last month, it's a little In bit... In September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So it was a title fight when I boxed uh, Bernard Divas. It was know. a 12, 12 round knockout, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, it was actually a good fight. And uh, I don't really want to talk about the fight, you know. But how do you feel? Like, uh, what, did you learn something from that? Of course, of course. After every fight, I learned something, you know. And uh, I have to fight with with him for for a WBC Super Middleweight title. And the uh, first fight, I won the fight, and he gave it to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave me the rematch, and he won. He won by decision. And uh, that's the story. So now I'm back, and uh, I'm working extremely hard for the next fight. Okay. To go back to the top. Keep going. Yeah, to, to win the title. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm working every day. This is what I want. And you're still fairly young, you know, right now, like uh, age-wise. And how did you get into boxing? Back in Romania, in my city, Baku, you know, I have two brothers who go to the gym first. And after this, I follow them. And step by step, I become national Romanian mm -hmm. champion. And uh, I do ten years boxing in Romania. I become ten time ten time uh, national Romanian champion. I make a bronze medal of all championships and Europe bronze medal. Uh, and when I was 24, I was thinking to turn pro, and uh, was the best place the best place to do boxing professional boxing. America. Mm -hmm. So I talked to my manager and uh, he bring me here. So I'm very happy because I made it. I'm very happy. I'm proud of me because I'm working hard and uh, I'm very happy. And what does that mean being a fighter, like being a boxer? What does that mean to you? Uh, everything. To be a boxer, you have to be, to be smart. It's not like other sport. You have to it, use your brain, right? You have to be smart. It's, it's everything mental. Of course, you have to be in shape, in good shape. You have to work hard, but the most thing is to be to be strong. When mentally. you say when you say smart, um, can you can you collaborate on that? What exactly are, are you talking about? You have to pick and choose which um, which kind of what, what kind of fight you want to get into, no, or no, do you no, have I'm to? I'm not talking be... about uh, which one. But I don't I don't care. The promoter who give me, I will fight any anyone anybody. But the uh, mental to be strong here, when you go to the fight, to be smart enough to make the good, good, good moves to win okay. the fight. To pick the right yeah. movement. Make, yeah, exactly. I see. Because and also, you, you have, have to be very have, disciplined too, just course, like anything else. Of so. course, you cannot, yeah. you cannot do that. Like, you cannot go to the club. You cannot go to. You have to. Have and you have to watch your diet. Of course, it's the most thing because this yeah. is everything. You cannot eat uh, hamburger or something like that. You can't like. Do you no. ever do you ever splurge on hamburgers and those junk foods? I do that. I do that, but it's it's like one time, but after two two months, I'm not I'm, I'm not used to to eat that. So I'm very good on uh, on uh, diet. Okay. I eat very clean. And what do you usually eat? Like fish, with a lot of veggie, of chicken, everything organic. You know. Do you, do you take care of your own food, or do you have someone else actually watch it? Yeah. Uh, when, when, I'm, when I'm home, when I'm home I, alone, I, I'll do that. But uh, before my, before my fights, my mom come here and nice. I give you all the 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 all the stuff, mm -hmm. and she, she make she make the food the right the right food. Cool. I, and and talking about when you're fighting, do you have a favorite strike or submission that you really like to use? Not really, not really. When I when I when I go to the fight, then the and when I know I work in good in the gym. I have good sparring, good training camp. I'm confident. Mm. I'm going there and do the job, get the win, and back home. And how? I mean, you you train every day, correct? Every day, two times a day. And then and then plus going to the gym. 
Yes. Every day, two time. One time go to the boxing gym and after this go running or uh, uh, crossfit and you know, fitness gym, two time a day. And do you get hurt often? Uh, Sometimes, yeah, but I have, a, I have a good team to take care of my body and everything. And then what would you do when you like have an injury or something like that? Depends what you have. I don't have a big injury, but uh, when I have something, I have a doctor who take care of me. It's a Donatelli doctor here in Las Vegas. Mm. He's a good chiropractic and uh, he helped me with that. Oh, I see. So in your mind, what do you think that makes a good fighter? My mind to be a good fighter is... Do you have a favorite fighter that you actually look up to? Of course, of course. I have uh, I have a few. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I come here first time in America, uh, no English, I didn't speak English, and uh, I got, I was lucky to meet the five-time, five-divisional champion, legend of boxing, James Stoney. And uh, I met him in LA. That was the first place when I when I lived there was LA. So I met James Tony. He teach me all the stuff. I was lucky. He coming every morning, in the five thirty in the morning he pick me up and go to the gym together and he teach me. Don't do this. Don't do this. And you have to be a good fighter. You have to listen. So like I did, I listened to the champ. So when I come in Vegas, I listen to the champ Floyd. I follow him. I saw, I saw him in the gym. How he do, how he working, how dedicated he is, how how work he is. You can do, you cannot, you cannot be like, you have to be straight. Because when you go there, nobody can help you. You are alone. Right. You are right. alone there, and you take the pie. You know, it's not good. And when you are right there in the in the field, then you have to really watch out what the other person. You you probably have to think ahead of the game, right? And 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 besides the physical part of you know boxing yes i think there's a big part about mental control as well like how do you mentally control your opponent mental yeah you know everybody has a plan everybody i have the plan too but sometimes it's not working mm. i gotta change it he have the plan too but it's not working sometimes you know so it's kind of like a dance like you both try and try yeah, yeah. you yeah. know like we have learned 10 rounds, 12 rounds, boxing, and first few rounds, you know, we go in there and figure out how it works, you know, how he works, you know, you have to feel it. Mm -hmm. mm. And usually, how, how would you feel when you knock out your component? Like, like, do you, like, do you really feel happy? Of course, of course, this is, because <laughs> I do a lot of work. It's a big moment, right? Yeah, that's, that's everything when, okay. when, I, when I do that, you know? A lot of work. I know I have, I do a lot of work for do that. So I'm very happy. Mm. These people like, you know, like, you know, people love to see that. Do you have like any, like, you know, do you fantasize about, for example, who is your component, uh, who is your opponent? Like who is the, the opponent that you always want to fight against? Like you always want to knock down. Do you have one? You always want to fight against? The champ who got the belt. Who got the belt. Who got the belt. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to knock him out. You want to be able to I fight. Wanna, I want to become a champion. That's why I'm here. So that's that's main thing, you know. That guy, who got the belt. What like what kept you going? Because I, you know, in my mind, you know, being trained as a boxer is like a really hard day to day job. It's, you know, it's something that people don't really go through in daily life or can't yes. even imagine. And what keeps you going good when you feel down? Good point. Good point. You know, it's it's not easy. I have I do this almost uh, eighteen years. So I'm still here, I'm still in good shape, and I want to become a champion. So I have uh, like 20 million people back home, Romania, who wants a champion, who wants me to be a champion. I have family who wants me to be a champion, and I want to be champion. I want to be something. I want to make my, my page on the history of, of book Romania. Okay. That's why it keep me going. You know, I do, I do this. Because I love it, you know. I do it for a long time. It's not like a few years, a long time. So I'm coming here because I want to make my dream true, American dream. My American dream, and your American dream is to yes, become, become a champion. Become a champion. Yeah. I boxed two times. I become an ABF champion, American champion, and uh, I boxed two times for WBC all title and 
the next the next few years I would become a champion. Well, obviously, you know, you're doing really, you know, well, and and you're on your way to become a champion. But have you thought about what if after you become a champion? Have you thought about that? Of course, I'm, I was thinking about this. I was thinking to to help my community from my country, a lot of young kids, and uh, they want to to turn pro because in Romania it's not really professional boxer; it's only amateur. So I was thinking to to help them because I know when I was young, nobody helped me to come. It was very hard to to come here in America, you know. So I want to help them. I I everybody takes me. Hey, I want to come there. I want to I want to see you know. I want to come to Mayweather gym. I want to box there. I want to become a professional. So I don't have a, now. I don't have a time. I have, I'm thinking about my career to become a champion. So after this, I'm looking to to help them. Um, so, like, so what about on the personal side? Um, are you looking to, um, you know, keep staying here in Las Vegas, or are you looking to bring your family here? You know, or are you going back to Romania? Like, uh, can you share? Yeah, uh, back and forth. I have, uh, you know, I have uh, everything to I have do- the documents. You know, almost citizen, American citizen, and um, I don't know. I like here, you know, and uh, I told you I, I'm thinking to. To be some like a management promotion, you know, to, to help more people, yeah, you yes, know, get yeah, to their dreams. Yeah. So because this is the best place for boxing, LA, Las Vegas, New York, you know. So I'm looking for that, I know. But I never know. In Ten years from now, what will what happen? You know. And and what do you like to do for fun? For fun, uh, to play some tennis sometimes. <laughs> Sports too. Yeah, yeah. You're very go active. to movie, go driving the car. Go to mountains sometimes, you know. Cool. Uh, I like mountains, fresh air. That's you know. what Las Vegas has to offer. Yeah, yeah, it's very close here. Almost I go every Saturday morning running over there in Mount Charleston. So, I can play billiards, you know, and the ping pong. I like to play. Go movie, watch movie. Oh, you like going to movies? Yeah, yeah. Cool. The real movie, not the all the movie. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. I see. Um, so, what? Let's just say that you know you, you made you made you made your um, goal, and then now you make this big record for yourself. And how do you want to be remembered at the end of your career? I mean, just a boxer, or do you have like other kind of thoughts or planning? That's why I. Want. I know we were talking about um, actually making some kind of. Um, documentaries, you know, to help other people who want to become a boxer or, you know, just be an inspiration. Just a good person. You know, just who was the Ronald okay. Goffin. Oh, I know this guy. He was a good person. Because everything is going down, you know, the bell, the tide, everything. But the man, the, the character of the man is going to be forever. Right, you right. Know, who's the, you know, like, oh, I know this guy. He's a good man. Right. You know? Right. So this guy helped people help, you know, bring fighters from my country, bring here, help them. Mm. You know? So tell us a little bit more about what's happening next in the next few months. So now I'm in training camp for the next fight. The, the December 6th is going to be next fight. December the sixth. Yes. Um, who are it's gonna you be, it's gonna be here in Las Vegas. I don't have the opponent already. Okay. So they will find me one opponent. And, and where is uh, it gonna be? Here in Las Vegas. Oh, um. Okay. And uh, I'm in training camp. I'm ready. I'm in good shape mentally, physically. You know, I'm ready. Are you training for it right now? Oh yeah, every day, every day. I just been to I just been to the gym a few hours ago. So tomorrow I have a sparring. Do you get this nervous butterflies before you actually go into the fight? Any fight? Mm, just a little bit. Or do you like, or or, or does the nervousness comes in like before, and then when you really get onto the field, you're like, no, just, okay, just, little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit before the fight. So, yeah. How do you handle to manage that? Uh, very easy. Mm-hmm. I'm professional, and I do this for a long time, you know. And I have the confidence because I do the right thing in the training camp. So, no which problem. is is the most. Important. Yeah, which is day yeah. day day training. Yeah, and yes, yes, very disciplined. I'm going there, and I do the job and doing good. Take the wind, okay. go home. 
And I know you have another one coming up, right, with David、um, next year? Or... You know, never know what happened, but I want one more fight with him.、Mm. And let's see what happens in the future. I'm because, sure this time will be better. Because I'm coming, you know, I'm coming for you, David. If you see that video, I'm coming for you. You know what you did in the second fight. So I'm coming for you. Don't forget that. Good. That's. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yes. Well, good luck to your endeavor. Thank you so much. Thank and, you、uh, so much again for being th- here. Thank you for inviting me here. And hopefully, you know, I invite my fight December 6th in all the、Please. community. Please. And、uh, everything's going to be good. I know. All and、right. I hope we bring the bell here for the community. It's going to be nice. A fist pump? Yes. Oh, you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching this week's Shannon's Life and Style, and I'll see you next week at the same time. Oh, don't forget to write to me about your thoughts for the show, or if there's a place you'd like to see in the town, or if you think your business is a real highlight of Vegas life and want it to be featured. We always do a lucky drawing among the viewers at the end of each episode and send out different surprises each week. No strings attached. So maybe you're the next lucky winner. Thanks for watching Shannon's Life and Style. Don't go away. We'll be right back.